Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I'll be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a digital marketer myself. I specialize in helping artists like you guys get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, and a bunch of others. Now, what I wanna to talk to you guys about today is three things that I learned from watching YB in the Mirror. Now, if you don't know who that is, YB in the Mirror is a young rapper out of Alabama who's been enjoying some major success within the past year or so. He recently started out rapping in the gaming community. Eventually, one of his videos got picked up by Worldstar and he's been out of here ever since. And after sitting down and really studying his come up and studying some of the things that he's talked about that helped him get to where he is, I think that there are some things that you guys can definitely learn from him. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Now the first thing that I learned from YB in the Mirror is to use your online resources effectively. Now before I get into my whole spiel, check this out. Hey, in 2012, look, we was playing like GTA 4 online and all that. Mm. So boom. Like, you feel me? Okay, we don't want to play the game all day. So you feel me? People get bored of playing the games. We be in the party just talking to our friends. We'll start rapping. So you feel me? People start recording that. Boom. They put it on YouTube. They like, wow, he like 13 doing this, 14 doing this. You get like, you know, like how Justin Bieber did, how right. he blew up from getting off YouTube. Right. YouTube. You, use your internet. Use the internet. Like, bruh, Instagram, like, bruh, you got to use it, bruh. Like, you just can't be posting pictures or nothing, bruh. Like, and bruh, don't, like, you can promote your music, but don't promote it as, like, spam, bruh. Like, let other people <laughs> promote your music. Tell your friends to promote it, bruh. Like, don't force yourself. So like YB in the mirror was saying, you guys really do have all of the power in your hands when it comes to these social media platforms like Twitter, like Snapchat, like YouTube, and like Instagram. The problem comes when you attack these platforms as more so as a consumer than the business people and the personalities that you all want to be. You need to really sit down and analyze these platforms, come up with a plan of attack, figure out how you can utilize them to the best of your ability so that you can get in front of the right eyes, the right people, and get yourself to where you want to be. Now, the second thing that I learned from YB in the mirror is that you need to build a community. Now, like I was saying earlier, YB in the Mirror got his start by building his community on Xbox while playing GTA 5. This is actually why I think he has one of the most interesting come up stories out of any rapper in the past couple of years because who would have thought that you could blow up as a rapper while playing Grand Theft Auto on Xbox? He started building his community on Xbox by casually playing the game with people, dropping freestyles here and there, and doing things like this. Like the new rappers, I fuck with most of the new rappers now, like Trill, Sammy, Famous Gex, like people like that. that like, you feel me? I see them on YouTube videos. I want to be like that. I want to be famous. Now the one thing that you need to take away from this is build your community in a place that comes natural to you. So YB in the Mirror was a gamer, so he built his community on a gaming based platform. If you're really into Instagram or you're really into YouTube or you're always on Twitch, start there. You will be able to build your community with a group of like-minded people and then eventually you can start to navigate those people away from that platform to wherever else your content may lie and wherever platforms your music may be on. And the third thing that I learned from YB in the Mirror is to take advantage of trends. Now, another important piece of YB in the Mirror's come up is the fact that he did a freestyle to The Race. If you don't know, The Race is a song by Houston rapper Tay K about his real life events of running from the police. When he dropped it, every rapper out there did a freestyle to it and they gained a lot of attention from it because at the time there was just that much attention around Tay K and his song. Now, while being the mirror being the guy that he is, he did his own freestyle, dropped it on Worldstar, and he definitely got a bunch of new fans and new listeners from doing that. A more recent example of this would be singer Danny Lay, who took advantage of Drake's Kiki challenge to boost herself up on Instagram by doing a challenge video to it herself. Now, luckily for you guys, there's always a new trend happening on the internet that you can take advantage of. Just keep your eyes and ears open to the internet, to Instagram, to Twitter, to whatever platform you use. See what little trends pop up here and there that you can take advantage of without looking too corny or ones that can make sense to your brand on ones that you can realistically capitalize off of with the things that you do and with your style and your music or whatever. And the thing about trends is they come and they go really fast. So when one pops up, you need to be ready to capitalize off of it and then have a game plan in place on how you're going to move these new fans and these new listeners over to your original content, cementing them as a part of your fan base. All right, guys, so just to give you all a little recap, these are three things that I learned from studying why being the mirrors come up that you can all apply to yourselves. Tip number one, utilize your online resources to the best of your abilities, meaning make sure that you're using these platforms in a way that actually helps you out by gaining you momentum and not just using them like a regular consumer or like a regular person. Tip number two, build a community. Build your community on a platform that comes natural to
to you so that you're building with a group of like-minded people then you can figure out how to move those people onto your other content into your other platforms and tip number three take advantage of trends now with trends they do come and they go really fast so make sure that you capitalize off of them as soon as they come and then figure out a way to move those new fans and those new listeners onto your other content and make sure you submit them into your fan base now as always guys if you feel like you learned anything today please like and share this video hit those post notifications as well as i wouldn't want you guys to miss anything once again my name is Corey, and i'll see y'all next time